So I used to drink diet soda like it was my best friend because I thought it was free. And then I had arthritis when I was 35. And one of my patients said she stopped aspartame and her arthritis went away. And I'm like, because I was drinking like, I don't know, a lot of diet soda. And so I stopped and my arthritis went away. And I'm like, no. And so I did it again and it came back. And I'm like, okay. And artificial sweeteners can change the microbiome. So we haven't talked about that, Mm -hmm. but you have these hundred trillion bugs in your gut that make neurotransmitters digest your food. And especially sucralose or Splenda has been found to decrease the good bacteria in your gut, which then has a negative impact on brain function. And aspartame, as you mentioned. And aspartame that I mentioned that can have a generational impact. So is it possible it's really not social media? It's that we've had aspartame in our food for decades. And I think it's all of these things that just sort of are additive. And we should just always think that to that one question. Is this good for my brain or bad for it? So you mentioned broccoli. Probably that's good for your brain cheeseburger? Probably not, but why don't you take the burger, and if you could make it grass-fed, that would be better, and put it in a salad, and then that would be good for your brain. 